Today, I will be reviewing the Rival Charger. Included is the 25 rifle balls and the charger itself. To operate this blaster, you will need six C batteries. Okay, so included with the blaster, 24 rival bullet ball things, and there's like two or three it comes with. Not much. That one's gone forever. But there's only a couple that comes with it, nothing much. Okay, so to load this blaster, you have to pull this back, which pulls the spring back, and then you have to one by one feed them in. Now to load this blaster, I recommend tilting it back because there's no spring pushing it forward as you push them in. So I would recommend pushing them in the top and have it either pointing at an angle or just straight down. And then you just push it forward and it'll push the spring forward and you're ready to shoot. Okay, so one other thing is this access door. If you have it open to clear out a jam or see if you have any rounds loaded, uh, make sure it, when you, you can't just throw it back. You have to push it so you hear that click. Otherwise, it will not work. Because when we originally got this, and I was putting batteries in it, I did not have that access door shut all the way. And I didn't think it worked, because it will not rev if that door is not completely shut. So that's one thing to watch out for when you're playing with the charger. Okay, so this is an internal magazine fly low power blaster. It can hold 12 rival rounds, but I could comfortably fit for 13, and it would still function perfectly fine. Now, one other thing is these fat iron sights there that are on this thing. Some very large iron sights. But besides that, it's pretty good. Uh, you can pull this back. Yeah, well, I don't know why that's there, but. This is a thumb hole, which is very comfortable actually. It has a bigger grip, but that comfortably can fit my hand when I'm shooting it. And one other thing, it's very back heavy because of where that's where the batteries are. It's like a bullpup style, but it's not. But most of the weight is in the back, but you can still move it around very comfortably without it. But that one's the firing demo. Now, the firing demo. Now, a little faster. Now, faster. With a 12 round capacity, you go through, through it pretty fast. Now, we're gonna do a distance test. That went pretty far. I made it this far all the way to the fence. From there. Okay, so my final opinion of the charger. It's a pretty good blaster. It looks like a P90, which is very cool. And also, I'm very satisfied with it. It shoots very far and has a very high FPS cap. And the 12 round capacity is pretty average for rival. But if you're shooting with your finger, if you got a really quick fi trigger finger, you're going to blast through that pretty fast. And also one thing is loading this is very slower than uh, like a regular Nerf magazine you can just pop in there. So the only reason you would buy this probably if you didn't want to buy extra magazines or if you don't like carrying them around on your body. But besides that, 
that's pretty good. One thing is the loading system of this is very similar to this. I think it's the Hades, but it's very similar. So you pull that back and then you get to shove balls in there. But it's big. It's the same type of loading system. Uh, very comfortable feel on it. Yeah, that is the charger. <laughs>